Hi, good Sunday morning. It's Christine Kircher from Create with Christine, and I am here with a Sunday Live stamping session for you this morning. Today, since it's going to be a billion degrees here in Massachusetts, uh, we are forecasted about 99 degrees. I am doing Christmas in July, so I am featuring the Snowman Season stamp set. So here's the card we're going to make really quick today. Um, it's hard to see right here, but I'm going to be playing with the shimmer paint. So here is the stamp set. You might recognize it because it was in our 2019 holiday catalog and it carried over to the annual catalog. So I was looking at the catalog and I got my inspiration from a project on, six, on page 62, which is a 3D project um, over here. So this little snowman baggie. Uh, was my inspiration for my card for today. So what better way to spend a hot summer day than be inside stamping. So I'm going to point my camera down and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's my card. And again, it's the Snowman Season Stamp Set. This has a coordinating snowman builder punch. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using a bunch of things today. So bear with me as I go through all the projects. And I'll have all the projects, all the products I use um, below, as well as all the measurements. So I just want to make sure I'm kind of sort of in the camera. And I think I am good. So to start, I want to do the shimmer paint on my woodland embossed layer. So, and hopefully you can kind of see this maybe a little bit better. I'm using Seaside Spray as the my card base and my three and three quarters by five layer. And I'm using the frost white shimmer paint and it kind of looks silvery um, on the seaside spray and then I added a little bit to the snowman so I want to show you how I did those things so first I embossed with the woodland with my die cutting machine and I'm going to bring over my shimmer paint and a sponge dauber and actually I'm going to bring over a piece of scrap paper too um, just so I don't make a mess on my mat And what I like to do is, you're supposed to shake it, so shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Um, I like to pour some in my lid. And then I'm just going to take my dauber on my finger, pick it up in my lid. It's pretty juicy, so maybe sponge off some of the excess. And I kind of started going by, down by the trees, but then I ended up kind of going across the whole entire card once I was finished. Um, so I kind of went by the trees and then I just kind of like smushed kind of across the whole entire card. So like I said, on the seaside spray, it kind of gives a cool silvery look. So hopefully you'll be able to kind of sort of see how pretty it is. So if I'm pretending that I'm snowshoeing today through a forest. I hope that if it's as hot here as, as where you are, that you have air conditioning, you're able to stay inside and beat the heat. So I'm just gonna carefully Lift this up and hopefully you can kind of see how pretty it is. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry. If you're impatient, you can get out your heat tool and heat it up to speed up the drying process. So then I have a piece of Whisper White that's three by three. I'll come back to the scrap paper later. So I'm going to do the snowman on this three by three piece of Whisper White. And this is the punch. So this is a snowman builder punch. And what I did was I made a template. I just used Rich Razzleberry because that was out on my table. So my template's the exact same size. And you could washi tape this down to just secure it or kind of hold it with your fingers. 
And we're gonna do the snowman body, the hat, and the two little arms, all in memento ink. So, I'm not sure, let me just, I'll do the, bo the body first. I don't know if I can get everything here. So, I'm gonna ink up with my snowman body. And I'm gonna try to hold my template, not stick my hand in the ink pad. And I'm gonna try to stamp right inside the template. Like I said, if you have washi tape, you might wanna, you could try washi taping it down. I did pretty good, I think, there. And I'm gonna do the hat. Don't worry if it's not per totally perfect. We, can, we have ways to fix those imperfections. And then I'm pretty sure, I didn't test this out, but I'm pretty sure these little arms are the same exact stamp. I suppose we could test it out. Whoops. We could test it out right now. So there's two stamps that have the little arms. And I'm moving my template. Okay. So then I end up with something that looks like this. One of my tree, one of my arms isn't great, but that's okay. Let me see if both of these are the same. I'm just gonna ink them up on a piece of scrap paper. So that's one. And this is two. I'm just gonna go right over the top. Yep, I think they're exactly the same. So there's your answer on that one. And so now I have my snowman in a little template. So when I punch out, it should line up with my punch perfectly. So we're gonna stick it inside, try to line up. So my hat doesn't look like it's perfect. So you might kind of have to fiddle with it And then all these pieces are gonna go flying. So what's fun is it even has a little carrot nose inside the punch. <clears throat> I'm just gonna color in the pieces with my watercolor pencils. So what I did is I wanted, I'm not using the nose. So this little nose, I'm just gonna throw aside. I wanted obviously a little carrot nose, pumpkin pie, there's berries, so I wanted red berries, green for the flowers or stems, and then I ended up doing gray for the hat. So I picked up my watercolor pencils because it had all of those colors, and I just picked out those colors. And let's go ahead and color this really quick, carrot nose. You could use blends if you have blends. You could use the markers, Stampin' Up markers. I just did a quick and dirty little color. Get some color on here. And then the gray. So the stamp kind of messed up right here in the corner of the hat, but it's okay. And I'm going kind of quick because I have a lot more steps to still do. So take your time, make it pretty. So there's my hat for my snowman. And let's do, I used the in good taste designer series paper for the little background of the snowman i was kind of going for more of a rustic look so this is the other side of the paper we're gonna add him to the wood side so i have my this is the scallop tag topper punch this piece is two by four and i'm just gonna stick it and give it a punch to get the notch at the top 
And actually, I have an, I'm going to do something a little different for my final card for the project, but I also have a piece of Seaside Spray that's two by four. We're going to stick it in, same thing, punch out for the scallop tag top. And now I can add my snowman. So my arms are, they're not the best, but hey, this is a sample project, so... I'm going to add some liquid glue to my snowman. And I'm going to add my arms. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the glue from the back and drop it. So I can kind of sort of see where I'm going. Whoops. Try not to get glue all over the place like I'm doing right now. Okay. And then I want him down in the corner. You can kind of move the arms a little bit. You have a little bit of wiggle room with the liquid glue. So before it dries. And then I have my little hat. And then what I'm gonna do is I added a little bit of the shimmer paint to his little coal buttons. And for that, I'm using my water painter. So I have, this is the medium size. I have no water inside of it. And I have, still I have some shimmer paint from earlier in my lid. So I'm just gonna come over and add a little bit of sparkle and shine to his little buttons. And then I did the little berries up top here too. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see the sparkle there. And here's my lid. Okay, so there's my snowman. I need to stamp my Let It Snow. So I'm gonna set this aside too and bring over some scrap paper to do my Let It Snow. I have a piece of Whisper White. This is the second smallest of the stitched shapes circles. And I'm gonna do my Let It Snow and the snowflakes in Seaside Spray. So, but I'm gonna stamp off on the snowflakes. So, Let's do, I'm going to do the let it snow first as I drop it. And then for the little snowflakes, this is all from the same stamp set, Snowman Season. I'm going to stamp off and then kind of, I want the large snowflake to be kind of in the center of the O. So there we go. That worked out perfect. And I might need to let my background pieces dry before I can assemble, but I did a bow with the crinkled seam binding. So let me get this out of the way now. So with the crinkled seam binding, I have a 12 inch piece and I just did what I call an air bow. I made two loops and then tied them together. If you have a bow maker, you could do bow maker. Oh, and you know what? I wasn't going to do this step, but this is how I did the original bow. And then I added on with a glue dot. So for my card, though, this card, I was going to actually glue the seaside spray down. And like I said, this might need some more time to dry. So I'm just going to kind of show you. I was going to try to play around with if I glued this piece down and the let it snow piece down, but I let this piece kind of dangle and not glue it down, but tie it through the loops. So you'll see what I mean is that the person could remove this and the ribbon and use this as a tag on a gift for the holiday season. So I hope that makes sense. My plan is to glue this down, 
and glue the let it snow down but let this kind of sort of dangle and I'm going to tie this through and then but the seaside spray will be glued down but it'll still be tied through the topper so I hope that makes sense that is my project for today so here's again a look at the final card and yeah thanks so much for tuning in whether you're watching live or watching the replay and I know hi Linda and hi Karen who've been tuning in and watching I did want to mention that I do have a new Facebook creative group under create with Christine so if you would like an invitation to that group please let me know I am running a buy one, get one free sale this weekend. So it's going to go through tomorrow, Monday at, which will be Monday, July 20th. And there's a special host code for that buy one, get one free sale. I'll post all the measurements and details for this project below. And if you are looking to buy something this month, I also have a host code going through July 30th. And I will post that below. It's UMQ9ZSK6. So I'm going to bring the camera back up. I hope you are able to stay inside and stay cool this weekend. If you're local here in Massachusetts and it's really hot here. So beat the heat, stay inside, stay safe and healthy. If you're in the south and in the west, we are thinking of you. And see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in.